Canada means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But the one thing we can all agree on is that we have some really good food here. Mm. Montreal is a huge part of that culinary goodness. And I'm going to prove it on a food trip. I'm Alex, and this is the show where I travel across a Canadian city eating the tastiest bucket list foods that I can get my hands on. Everything from hidden diner burgers to cheesy pizza and insane poutine creations, and hell, even dessert. There are almost too many options to choose from, not enough time and not enough money. So what I'm gonna do is try to hit up as many of Montreal's tastiest food spots as I can in under four hours and with only $100 in my pocket. The only rule, no chain restaurants. Today, I'm eating burgers. All right, let's put four hours on the clock. And you know what? Let's start off with a bang. Let's go big or go home, right? Burger Bar Crescent on Crescent Street has a massive stacked burger. Now, bigger doesn't always mean better, but in this case, it looks pretty crazy. It's called The Hangover and it has an egg on it. So technically, it's breakfast. Great way to start the day. All right, so I clearly left out a very important ingredient in this burger. There is an entire poutine built into it. I wanna try it. Mmm, burger's juicy, not too dry. It wasn't thrown onto the grill for too long. The bacon's not too hard. The caramelized onions give it a good base. Big props to the bread. Each section of the burger is like a different thing. You have the beef and the bacon, and then you have the poutine in area, and then you have the egg on top. It's like three meals in one. This is basically your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a journey. It's an experience. Three hours and 17 minutes left on the clock. $76.43 left in my pocket. Um, yeah, let's start making moves. All right, I'm really excited about this next spot because in 2019, Uni Burger on Saint Denis was crowned not only the best burger in Montreal, but the best burger in Canada by Big Seven Travel. You don't just throw that around. So let's see if it tastes as good as the awards say it does. So this is Montreal's answer to Shake Shack. Oh, look at that. They got the cheese to stay melted. This cheese is so soft, but the meat, it's so simple, but there's so much flavor in it. This is like a scotch of burgers because you're tasting one thing, but you're tasting it so well and so powerfully that the rest of it doesn't even really matter. And yet the rest of it is fantastic. All right, now the fries, they apparently cut these fresh every day. They have the shape of a McDonald's fry, but the, the, the body of a true potato. All right, time check. Two hours and 19 minutes left on the clock. I have 57.92 left in my pocket. Listen, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm loving life right now, all right? We did the big, we did the beautiful, but now let's try something a little weird, okay? We're going to Patatrie Chez Philippe, and this place has been open longer than I've been alive. They opened in 1962, and this casse croûte, all right, which is a Quebecois term for like a snack bar, has this reinvention of what a burger is. Get this, instead of a bun, they have two grilled cheeses on either side of the patty. This I gotta see. Gutter Zeke, let's find a place to eat. Yeah, that kind of rhymes. Oh, it's hot. At what point does it stop being a sandwich or a burger, or does it become three sandwiches, or one burger and two sandwiches? I, I don't know, let's just eat it. Yo, that's not bad at all. A grilled cheese sandwich tastes different than if you just had American cheese in a burger. A lot of it has to do, I guess, with the way you're, you're kind of frying the, the bread and the butter, but this changes the whole flavor and texture of a burger. I don't know if I'd call it a burger just because of the fact that it has the grilled cheese on either side, but whatever it is, damn. One hour, 37 minutes left on the clock, 42.79 left in my pocket. I'm past the halfway mark now in both time and money and the amount of space I have left in my stomach. But we gotta go to Little Italy right now to Chez Toussignac because they have this 50s burger shack vibe thing going on where they have fresh ingredients, simple burgers, and you know what? The, the fewer ingredients there are, the better it has to be. So let's hop into the metro and get over there now. Oh, 
So I'm gonna grab the Tissignan burger. It's sweet, it's a little salty. The pickle kind of balances out. This tastes completely different from all the rest of the places that I went to today. That very thin piece of maple ham changes the entire flavor of the entire burger. Maple ham is a solid swap if you don't want bacon in your burger. Not bad. All right, time check, just over 20 minutes. Money check, 28.79. I'm running low on both. All right, listen, the next place on my list is about 15 minutes away. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to finish the whole list, but I gotta get to this next one because Restaurant Milex is different, all right? Their chef, Gregory Paul, is from the south of France. And even though they have bone marrow on the menu, don't hold that against them because they have a burger called the mother and I want it. Now, while we were in there, unfortunately, the timer did end. So I'm not gonna have time to make it to our last place today, which does suck. But I think we're ending on a pretty damn high note. This looks like the most extravagant burger that we've had all day. Two massive patties loaded with cheese and bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. The buns alone look like they should be in a freaking museum. Look at that. It's literally just a little squeeze and all the juices come rolling out. Their home sauce, whatever their house sauce is, it's amazing. But the beef tastes like it was literally just shipped in from a farm. You know what, this goes all the way back to the chef being from the south of France, because yes, it's a massive burger, yes. It's called mother but it's mother amazing. All the ingredients are top notch. This is a fancy, cultured, cultural burger disguised as a massive mega burger. It's a Trojan horse, tasty. All right, so that's it for this episode of Food Trip. I managed to hit five places. Unfortunately, I didn't have time for the sixth. $5.71 left in my pocket. So, I mean, I don't know what you could have done much with that. Uh, burger Bar Crescent, insane. If you can't choose what you want to eat that day, you want breakfast, you want a burger, you want to put in, that's the one for you. Uni Burger, delicious, simple, juicy. I get why it won the Best Burger in Canada Award in 2019. Patatrice chez Philippe, the Zeke burger, honestly, low key. I almost don't even want to classify it as a burger, but it was kind of my favorite sandwich thing today. Um, chez Toussignan, delicious. Straight to the point, simple, classic, but, but I had to take some leftovers from restaurant My Lex, cause god damn, fresh, delicious, juicy, perfect, top of the line ingredients. Triple A Canadian beef, these are just Hot keywords, listen, if you're looking for a burger in Montreal, you now have five places that you can go to. That's it for this episode of Food Trip, but I'm gonna be back soon with another episode with a new food in Montreal that you're gonna wanna eat. It's gonna blow your mind. See you then.